Greetings in Jesus' name, and thank you so much for taking part in another Higher Grounds Podcast Morning Minute Meditation. I'm Pastor Brian Coates of the Arrington Branch Baptist Church, and I'm here at the Davidson River at Sycamore Flats, and thinking about how John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. Again, to think about the Lord Jesus Christ as the greatest friend and the friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Did he ever lay down... I think about four times in the scripture where Jesus laid down. I think about when he was laid in a manger, bringing to us his lowest state, coming down to our level. Had he been brought to the earth in a palace or on a throne, the condescension would not mean what it means to us today as when he was laid in a manger. Begin to think about when he was laying in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. The disciples said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the winds and the seas. And they became calm. How is that? Well, Jesus was laying down in the midst of their storm. And if you'll realize that in the midst of the turbulent society that we're living in, Jesus Christ is in perfect peace right now. He's not worried about it. He's not concerned about it. He laid down in the manger and he laid down in the ship, but then he laid down on the cross, stretched out his arms as they nailed the nails into each one of his hands and into his feet. He laid down his life for us so that our sins could be forgiven. And then he was laid down in the tomb, conquering death, hell, and the grave three days and three nights later. Wonderful things happen when Jesus laid down. But now he's seated at the right hand of God, making intercession for us. And one of these days he's going to stand up, he's going to stand on the cloud, and he's going to bring us up to him to fellowship for all of eternity. And what a day, glorious day that's going to be. I pray you have a wonderful day and a Merry Christmas this week.